Season 13 has a brand new season pass with over 100 rewards. With the changes that Season 13 is going to bring to us, like removing Wiggly Bounties, which was a huge contributor for XP like other seasons, the Season Pass, we have some brand new ways on how you guys can get XP. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please subscribe and also join our Discord. If you guys could do those two things, that would mean a lot. We have over 400 Guardians in this Discord. We have a lot of LFG, giveaways, all that amazing stuff. So please be sure to join our community Discord as well as subscribe for amazing guides that get straight to the point for destiny 2 i hope you guys again do enjoy this video and other than that let's get on with the video well if you guys don't know weekly bounties will be removed this season which kind of sucks because that was one of the main things i always say in these season pass videos to go and grab and go and do the new seasonal activity which really sucks but we got something new. We are getting these things called seasonal challenges. They're basically like new things where you can go in, do some challenges. It's only, you can only do it once, of course, per account, but you can get a bunch load of XP, guns, mods, armor, all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool of how this new system works because there's gonna be a first 10 weeks of a season and they will have challenges and the challenges will coordinate with some with XP, some with other stuff. So there's going to be different challenges for XP. You'll be able to see the reward of the triumph of what it's going to give if you guys do it. So it shows, okay, am I going to spend all this time to do this? But I'll go and do this triumph because this awards me XP. So that's a great way to rank up faster in the season pass. But again, if you guys do miss a week, like if you play the second week, and you didn't want to play the other next two weeks, you could come back on like week five and do all those challenges again. And this really does help because again, it com completing each challenge awards XP, contributing to your season pass ranks. And again, other rewards could be bright dust, seasonal currency, and other interesting items. So again, this is a great way because I know weekly bounties were just a bored objective to keep doing over and over again. So this really kind of is amazing now because we don't need to do weekly bounties anymore. Congrats, guys. No more weekly bounties. But yet again, these vendors will still have daily bounties, which do reward XP. And yeah, so if you want to go and grab the dailies and additional bounties, because they will still have grant additional XP and bright dust for any of the core um, vendors like Drifter, uh, Lord Shax, or Zavala, if you are all down. Now, I know many of you who want the Palindrome or Shadow Price or the Swarm are probably going to jump in the nightfalls first to try to get a random chance of getting those weapons but you're going to need to go into nightfalls for a rare drop of those so why don't you bring some of these seasonal well you go and look at seasonal challenges in strikes and bring some additional in daily bounties which will help you achieve more xp in the season pass faster always something that i usually say at the beginning of my video is check your ghost shell because your ghost shell at the beginning of the season will have a mod and you can adjust what mods you get and you can get XP gains increased by 12%. Now this is really good and I definitely want everyone to keep doing this each season because it just helps a lot guys. As well as being a part of a fire team. Being a part of a fire team can really help you guys. You don't know how much bonuses. When you're, when you're ranking up in the season pass, if you go to the season pass like you know, screen, you can see bonuses on the bottom corner. And one of them is a fire team bonus. Staying in a fire team can get you more XP. When you're done when you're doing all your bounties, when you're completing them, be sure to be with a fire team because you can get about a couple more extra XP just being in a fire team and dropping bounties. So please do that. Definitely something that you guys should do because you can guys can get more XP and it's just really helpful. And with the new seasonal challenges and with it unlocking over over a week through week, it can really help. Again, I just want to point out is that 60% of the seasonal challenges do not require the season pass. However, if you don't have the season pass, 40% of the challenges you won't be able to do, unfortunately, which kind of does suck. Like I said earlier, a lot of you are probably going to go and grind out for the Palindrome Shadow Price or the Swarm, which is a random drop from a Nightfall. The higher the difficulty, the higher drop chance it, one of them will drop for you or for your fire team. 
So, Nightfalls, I've been saying for a lot of videos now for Season Passes, do give a lot of XP, so just to be aware of that. So, think about doing maybe what... We don't know the difficulties, of course. I don't know the difficulties of what the Nightfalls are going to be, but usually the Master or the Hero is the one you want to be around with the most because Grandmaster could be way too difficult. Master could be a bit difficult already on day one, but, you know, around those kind of... Nightfalls is probably the best to get as much as XP as you can, and that can probably get you, yeah, all the XP. Again, what I rounded up was doing the seasonal challenges. If you do have the season mess, if you don't, you still can do them because they get a lot of bright dust and XP. You can do the additional bounties just in case, and the bounties from the seasonal vendors. Those can get you some additional just if you're down. Being a fire team, because you can get some XP bonuses as well as just do some of the like nightfalls or something like that and have your ghost shell with the mod to get you 12 percent more xp it really does help for xp in the season pass i hope you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like subscribe and join our community discord i'll see you guys next time bye guys